What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today I have for you a quick little video on how I straighten my hair. Ever since I cut it, I've been getting so many questions on it. So today I'm going to be sharing my secrets, showing you my favorite products, my tools, and all that stuff. I do want to quickly mention my hair is naturally straight. I do use heat tools like a straightening iron and a blow dryer, but it is straight, like it dries straight. I use it to basically tame it a little bit more or to keep the frizz because it is straight, but like with some puffiness to it, if that makes sense. The main reason that I cut my hair was because it was so, so damaged and ever since I cut it, I feel like it looks a lot healthier, it is healthier and I use less heating tool. I still use them, don't get me wrong, but I use less of it. So I basically just straighten my hair once a week or maybe max twice a week because I don't wash my hair every single day. I wash it like every four days or whenever I feel like it's too greasy and I, it needs to be washed, you know? Anyways, I don't do anything crazy. I feel like this video is not going to be extremely helpful, but I do share the products that I use and the tools that I use and I've been using them for a really long time and I feel like it's going to be helpful for any hair type. Also, I'm using a different camera today. I'm using the Sony A5100, the one that I use for vlogs and Instagram, but I figured to film this video, I use it and it's actually so much helpful because it just auto focuses by itself. Let me know if you guys like this one, but let's jump right into the video and the products that I use. All right, so starting off, I always have my hair in a towel for like maybe a few minutes. Then this is what it looks like. My hair, like I mentioned, is naturally straight. I can let it air dry if I want, but for the sake of this video, I want to share with you guys my favorite hot tools, my blow dryer, and straightening iron. Basically, how I get my hair straight. This right here, it's the T3 blow dryer. I've been using it for some time, and I've been obsessed with it. It works amazing on my hair. My mom has curlier hair than I do, and it works really great on her as well. But I, first and foremost, to be honest with you, love the look of it the most because it's white and rose gold. I just feel like it looks super chic you can obviously change this as you please and it has a few little buttons there I really like their curling iron as well it's actually what I use on my hair I could make a totally separate video on how I curl my hair if you guys want let me know in the comments below but this little brush right here it's what I brush my hair while I'm like blow drying it or I just want to like give it some more volume on the roots and the front part of my hair and then the start of the show to me has to be the flat iron this one is the GHD platinum flat iron I feel like it has to be one of the best flat irons I've used it works instantly it doesn't feel like it's damaging my hair and I've been using it for some time now for like for a few months it just has one setting I'm going to list the number right here of how high it gets but it's basically the best one for your hair and it actually flat irons it really really nicely that being said I really like this it also has this little like cover thing that it's great to travel with so to take care of my hair because like I mentioned any heat tools is you know not the greatest for your hair I apply a lot of products when I say a lot I basically make a little you know mixture of things that I feel like has been working great on my hair usually a spray because I don't really like creams but I do have a cream here that it's new and I've been using it I really like it it's from sexy hair hot sexy hair prep me but these have been my ride and die for some time now I have two L'Oreal one one that actually was taken away from me at the airport because it's too like big of a product to carry on this one is the sleek it iron straight heat spray i also had another one that was like a quick dry one amazing i really have to repurchase that because it's honestly the best out of all that i've tried and i just like l'oreal products in general this one does the same thing that i was mentioning it's the speeded up blow dry spray it's from eva nyc i also used it with the other l'oreal one like i use all these products together you know, maybe not the greatest. Another Eva NYC, it's the Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. And this is the It's a 10 Miracle Instant Repair. Bomb.com, I've mentioned this is my monthly favorites and I really, really like this. So, we're just going to go crazy and spray all these things. I do it standing up and then like with my hair flipped. But for the sake of the video, we're going to do it sitting. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to do it like I normally do it, which is standing up with my hair flipped. I don't know if you guys can see that. And the prep me lotion. That was probably a lot. Right, now that my hair is ready for the tools, this is no science. Honestly, I don't do anything crazy. I just let the air dry my hair. Yeah. 
we're done right i feel like i'm done with la hair and blow drying and stuff all right so to straighten my hair with the straightening iron honestly the only reason i do it it's because i feel like it has way too much volume and short hair with volume tends to look like like that you know we're just gonna use more heat i use a paddle brush to straighten it like to hold it while the flat iron is going through again no crazy science to it i just has the flat iron a few times focusing more on my tips because i feel like it has the most volume there not volume like I, it's not that i want to take away the volume because honestly i'm all about volume if you guys really really know me but it's just to make it all sleek you know i feel like this video is not going to be super helpful because i know not everyone has my hair type and it's honestly no crazy science to what i do in general but i hope you guys find it somewhat interesting and somewhat helpful the tools itself are amazing though so that's that right here like in the neck area is where i get the most scared because i don't want to get burnt you know another tip if you guys like volume or want to give it some volume flat iron your hair upside down like your head upside down wow wow when you flat iron your hair upside down it actually gives you more volume like this that's really all i do to be honest with you i also use this little pick or brush to either tease my hair or make the really really straight line right in the center which is where I part it with when it's straight. I do apply hairspray and to no surprise is the Elnit hairspray because you can just brush it off. And I use it the most because I do have some like flyaways when I'm straightening it right there. When I'm straightening it, straightening, straight, straighten it. Mm, I feel like that sounds funny. So I apply some right there and it kind of just makes it all down now i have a bunch of baby hairs i don't really do anything crazy about it i feel like everyone is all about baby hairs now and having them like all laid but i apply this hairspray Ugh, i don't know like i wish i could learn how to tame it better and that my friends is how i straighten my hair now that it's short anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video on how i curl my hair or maybe some styles for short hair subscribe and see you next time bye ah almost got burnt there i hope you or if i straightening it if i straight straightening it straightening it straight it straight it straight it okie dokie okay Oh, well, I feel like I'm f***ing sweating my upper lip right here. Okay. Just an airplane passing by. Ow. Maybe putting all these things in one. Not the greatest idea. Okay, maybe not, but whatever. All right.